Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me for another spirit review video. Today is August 16th, 2014, which means it is National Rum Day. So in honor of that, I decided to break out the Pritchard's rums for you. And Pritchard's has been doing distillation in Kelso, Tennessee since 1999, when he began with this white rum right here. It's known as Pritchard's Crystal Rum. It's an 80 proof rum, five time distillation, small copper pot stills, uh, the beautiful thing about all his rums, he uses the very, very best base ingredient, which is grade A molasses. That is food table grade molasses. Highest fermentable sugars of any molasses out there. Uh, from there, you're going to go grade B, C, D, all the way down to a black strap molasses. Typically, all, well, not typically, pretty much all rum producers use the grades B through black strap. You hear Blackstrap Rum, and that's exactly why. That's what they're using. Now, when you start with the very best base ingredient, you're going to end up with a very high-quality product. And that was his thinking because he had to go up against all these uh, wonderful island rums, Caribbean rums, and the South American and Central American rums were coming on strong at that time. So he had, his competition was very stiff. So I think he made the right move there. It's not as cost-efficient to do that when you're using grade A, but... His product, wonderful, wonderful rum, all right? Other thing to note, price points and ages on these guys. Of course, this white rum, unaged, retailing around $25, $35. Next up, the Pritchard's Fine Rum, aged between three and eight years old, uh, retailing around $35, $45 for this one. And then we go up to the Pritchard's Private Stock. Now, this is aged between eight and 14 years old, and it is a distillery only bottling. It just came out within the last year or so, but, but here's the big but. But if you search around, there are a few select uh, boutique type liquor stores that do stock it. And that's how I found mine, was actually in a store. But I didn't go to, my big chains couldn't get it, they didn't have it. It was a very, very small shop that did. So maybe ask around, maybe your, your own shop can get you that bottle in if you really want it. Now the price point on it, 90 to about $110, so a big jump, uh, but again, 8 to 14 years old. Other thing to note, when they're aging their rums, they're using very small casks, about 15 gallons, uh, charred white oak barrels, and when you use those small casks like that, it can also work for you and it can work against you. In that smaller cask means more um, spirit to wood contact, so you're going to get a more of a, a quicker age. But again, I've seen it work negatively as well. So if it's not done properly, it can actually ruin a spirit. But that's not the case here. I'll let you know that right now. All right, so let's get to the nosing. Pritchard's Crystal Rum, 80 proof white rum. Whew. Vanilla and butterscotch, right off the nose. A Little bit of alcohol, but it's that vanilla and butterscotch just filling up this room. Think of uh, that, that white rock candy, you know, when you were little. That's what this smells like. Really, really nice. All right. Pritchard's Fine Rum. Three to eight years. Hmm. Yes, that, that's where it's at. Wow. I've lost the butterscotch that was in this one. Vanilla's still here. It, the butterscotch has been replaced with now caramel. There's some oak in here. Almost a hint of a uh, hint of leather, some maybe some sandalwood as well. And there's some red fruits in here. Uh, very very light red fruits, but they're in there in the background. Uh, really up front, the big nose is going to be your caramel um, and your little bit of that of that oak profile, a very sweet oak coming through on that one. Now, the 8 to 14 year old, look at that color. Wow. Private stock, huh? Fruits are still there. I'm surprised, but they're definitely still there. Does not smell over oaked. Even with that amount of color, that's what makes me worry when I see that, but... Vanilla, still shining through. That's the one thing that held true throughout the whole line. That leather that I was getting in here carries on into here. 
it lost some of that it lost some of the caramel it lost some of that that sandalwood aspect that I was finding here this one just smells like sweet oak the leather is feeling a little aged here but it's still there and the, the red berries are still in here as well wow really 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 nice uh, I think on the nose this one is going to be my favorite <clears throat> all right on to the taste Not the silkiest on the palate, but very, very soft. Um, so when I say silky, it's not like oily. Sometimes they'll get oily where it's very uh, mouth coating. This one just goes down so soft. It does have everything that I was talking about, that vanilla, that butterscotch, very creamy feeling. Finishes just with those flavors. A uh, little bit of alcohol was noticeable. About the mid palate, it's a little bitty peak of that alcohol. Goes away pretty fast. And all that's lingering is just that vanilla and butterscotch. Wow. Really, really great rum there, especially for a white rum. Tremendous. Really no burn to speak of. It's just very, very nice made rum. All right, fine rum. more of a typical rum profile. Very similar mouthfeel, maybe a, a touch more viscous here. Again, that butterscotch is no longer really in the flavor. It's a vanilla, very, very sweet oak. Caramel. Coffee. Mm. Very, very well made rum. No alcohol, that's the thing. I was noticing that little bit of alcohol in here on the mid palate, it's gone here. Very, very smooth. Oak character coming on mid palate, lingering into the finish. Really, really nicely balanced while still maintaining some bold flavor. Great, great rum. All right, now to the private stock. moved away from the caramel now a little bit of vanilla almost like a, a sprinkling of cocoa powder <clears throat> let me go back what was that yep man that's weird I almost want to say it has like a touch of citrus now creeping in. It's very, very strange, but it's just a little bit of citrus. Um, cocoa powder sprinkled on top. The oak, the vanilla. Oak, it's not over oak. Even with that color, it's not over oak by any means. Wow. And leather. Leather on that finish. oak tannins, a little bit on that finish creeping in. At 90 proof, that's the, the one other difference, these are both 80, this is 90 proof. You don't notice that heat, that elevation in that 10 degrees. Very, very nice. Definitely more oily than either of these two. It's the type of rum that you're going to need to sit down with and really almost study it, you know, because it is very complex and I was almost getting a little salty uh, saltiness to it in the finish as well. Uh, tremendous rum. My personal favorite of the three, and it's th thankfully it's it's very very readily available, is this Pritchard's Fine Rum. I think it's 
wonderful expression. Uh, can compete with pretty much all rums out there. I think it's a great product. Crystal rum, fabulous white rum. So again, if you see these in your local liquor stores, I highly recommend you add these as well to your collection. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everybody have a great National Rum Day, and cheers.